Hit Off by Taylor Swift. This song has three easy chords all the way through the song and a little little riff in the bass if you choose to learn it. And once we've covered those basics, we're then gonna look at how to put this really recognizable melody on the top of those chords and play chords at the same time. That bit is really inspired by a little video that I saw from Chili Gonzalez, a fantastic piano player. And I'll link to that video in the description because I think it's really kind of inspiring with these kind of pop songs that don't necessarily have or need piano in them, but we can put them on the piano and they sound really great. So the three chords that we have in this song are the A minor chord, and this would be kind of the standard or traditional way to play that A minor chord. Um, I would probably, if I was being strict, play that with my middle finger in the left hand, and then the standard chord or triad in the right. I have a lesson on chords uploaded already to the Sander Piano YouTube channel. I'll link for that in the description as well if you need more help with playing chords. Um, then we have a C major chord, just here. So, C in the left hand, the lower inversion of the C chord in the right hand, but we're doing an impression of this song, we're doing our own arrangement, you can use whichever C chord you want, so take it all the way up, and then a G. Those are the chords in the entire song, and to play that, we're not playing any of the black keys, it's all on the nice easy white keys. Chord number one, two, and then three. Okay? And stay on that G a little longer. Now with the left hand, we can do a little bit more. to sound a little bit more recognizable. Um, sounds a little bit like a sax. I'll have to find out exactly what sound they uh, they used for that little, little synth part in the bass. But what we're going to do is play each of those root notes that we've played already, but just to this rhythm, the rhythm that you know already if you like this song. So it's an A note. One, two, three. Okay, same thing on the C. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then on the G, which is here. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. How fun is that? Straight away, just playing what is it? Su such a great song. And uh, it would do that essentially all the way through the song, or at least through really audible in all the verses, at least, anyway. Dun, 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 dun. C, 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 one, two, three. To G, one, two, three, one, two, three, happens again on the G. We can put that with the right hand. And that left hand, so the right hand goes first and then the left hand. Chord first, chord, left, left, left. One, two, three. One more time. If you enjoyed that intro that I did before, right at the start of this video, um, you're probably more interested in learning this part. Okay. That, I was actually holding my sustain pedal down the entire time to make it all kind of ring out. You don't have to do that. The notes, that's where we start. I would be thinking of this as kind of like a, a G or an E minor chord. That's A, A to the B with a little finger. Middle finger, first finger, thumb. This is the easy part. Let's try and get that nice and quickly. Do that along with me. Three, four. Then. All right. After that, which you could even do, I mean, if you're doing it and you've never done this before, 
-hmm. you really can do it with one finger. And when you use that sustain pedal, it rings out and sounds nice and pretty. That's just with me putting my foot on my sustain pedal that's attached to this keyboard. Um, but if we're doing this more properly, what we really need to do is cross over from this thumb and that middle finger is going to go over and go B, A and G. And that is much more sensible for how our, our right hand is going to kind of go. It's also an easy way to remember it as well. So I'm kind of using this kind of E minor to G thinking and then just B, A and G here an awful lot of fun and we can do that quite easily with the left hand uh, what I was doing in the intro is playing octaves of that A, C and G because they are the only chords in this song that's, that's all that happens A, C and G or you can just go A, C and G entirely up to you, but what I was doing in the intro was this. Now one thing that I worked out quite early on when I was learning piano is a lot of the pieces that I wanted to play were kind of doing this idea. Utilising the sustain pedal, so this is this pedal that's attached to the keyboard that allows notes to, to ring out like this, but if we're playing a chord in the right hand and then a bass note in the left, sometimes they happen together and sometimes they happen separately. of this thing happening. It's like um it's like this one. Kind of left right, left right, left right, lots of lots of fun. Um, and that makes everything sound a lot more professional. So what's going on there is to do to do this way of playing it, we're gonna go together and then after that one hand and then the other, starting with the bass. happens at the start together Bam. and then this three notes at the end and fully I was adding just at that start just that E note as, as well, just to again give more of an impression of this A minor chord. Just to accentuate it. fun just something to play about with to play something that's a absolute massive pop hit sounds great on piano and it's an easy way to put melody with chords gain the left and right hand working all that good stuff if you want some more help with that let me know your requests in the comments below and check out more stuff on this andy piano youtube channel by subscribing and i will see you next time we have new uploads every week take care of yourselves bye for now